Hey good people, I'll be running you through this video, a knee mobility flow today. So this is the sequence that we like to take our A-Life Anywhere members through before we do any strength work. So that's lifting, um, lower body work, and even if you're gonna do some running or some long hikes, I encourage you guys to do this warm up or the sequence. I like to do it as often as I can, nearly every day. Let's get started. From here, let's start off bowling your hands into a fist, bringing it in between your knees. So your knees will be hugging your fist. Slight circles, drawing some circles with your knees around your toes. Five circles in a clockwise direction. Now only go to a point where you're not gonna feel any pain. You may feel very, may have very little movement here, but only five circles in a clockwise direction. So one, two, three, four, and five. Once we do it to one direction, we go the other way. Anti-clockwise direction. There's two, there's three, hugging that fist with your knees for four, and for five, let's repeat it another time in each direction. Five times in the clockwise direction for two, for three, for four, and for five. Only go to a range that your knees currently allow you to go. Here's two, three, four, and five. All right, now this is where you may need some blocks, your yoga blocks, whatever, even some books. Have them ready for some regressions or even a bench. I'll show you from the floor first. If you find this seated position a little bit uncomfortable and a bit difficult to maintain hugging your thigh towards your chest, Elevate your hips. That way it's a little bit more uncomfortable where you can keep your back straight or even on a bench where we can hug our right thigh towards our chest. From here, find your seat in a comfortable position, keeping your back up straight. Starting with our right leg in front of us, our le if you're on the floor, left leg is just on the ground. Right arm comes out, comes underneath your right thigh hugging that right thigh into your chest, clasping your hands together, pull that thigh towards your chest, limiting the movement in your hips. We want all the movement to come from our shin. Now for some terminology first, if this is your first time doing this, internally rotate, externally rotate. So you turn your shin to the inside, that's internally rotate, externally rotate, internal, external. Bear in mind, the movement is to come from the shin, not from the foot and definitely not from the hips, hence that's why we're isolating that thigh. From here, we're going externally rotate. Externally rotate to as far as you can, it may not move much. From there, when you get to your end range, bring that foot up to as high as you can, see if you can straighten that knee as long as you're not feeling any pain at all. From there, internal rotate. Slowly bring that knee down, very slow, and we repeat. Go back to external and bring it up. Doing that three times. So I'll face you from this angle so you can see. Hugging that thigh to your chest, external rotate. Bringing that foot up to as high as you can, even straighten your knee if you can. From there, from your end range, we internally rotate our shin. Could be a small movement, we slowly bring it down with control. And external rotate, here's two. Bringing it up to as high as you can. Internal rotate. Remember from the shin. Slowly coming down. One more time. Externally rotate. Bringing that shin up to as high as you can. Internally rotate. Slowly bringing it down. From here we're just going to go the other direction. Starting internal rotate. Bringing that foot up to as high as you can. Then externally rotate. Bringing that foot down. Same thing, three times on each side, off we go. Internally rotate. Bring it up to as high as you can, to your end range. Externally rotate. Bringing that foot down with control. And back to internally rotate as far as you can. Turn that shin out to as far as you can, bringing that foot up to as high as you can. Keeping your chest up. 
external rotate slowly bringing it down perfect what we do to one side we go and do to the other side so same thing hugging your left leg to your chest left arm comes underneath clasping your hands together pulling that shin to your chest going to external rotate with our left knee bring that shin up to as high as you can see if you could straighten that knee without inducing any pain then we go internal rotate internal rotation <laughs> slowly coming down external rotate externally rotated bring it up to as high as you can keeping your back straight chest up slowly coming down one more time in the external rotation position bring that foot up to as high as you can and internally rotate that shin slowly bringing it down reversing the direction now from the internal rotation bring that knee up to as high as you can foot up as high as you can i mean foot or shin externally rotate slowly coming down back to internal here's two bring it up high as you can external rotate there may be slight movement that's okay you don't expect a lot of movement to come out of this it's just training your knees and your lower body to move in other directions and that's three great work everyone find your wall from here bottom up against the wall the further your feet are away from the wall the more difficult it's going to be so if it's this far off we have our back off the wall so hinging off the wall slightly keeping our knees straight tension in our quads and in our calves as we pull those big toes towards our shins slowly lowering them down that's one and there's two we're doing 20 to 25 of these now like i said the closer your feet are to the wall the less pressure it will be so find your range where it's not too challenging we want to be able to get to 20 to 25 all right so find your distance here i come back off the wall bottom against the wall knee straight for one slowly coming down pulling those big toes towards your shins here's three four four five six seven should really feel your quads working here for eight nine ten i'm slowly bringing down those toes with control eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18 19 here is 20 like i said 20 to 25 as soon as you've done that we're going to face the wall straighten out the mat facing the wall stepping your feet out so your heels are back behind back behind your knees so your knees are past your toes having your hands up against the wall for a little bit of a balance pressing into the big toes bringing the shins up slowly coming down same thing 20 to 25 of this we should be feeling this in our calves coming up slowly coming down slowly really pressing into your big toes there's five for me i believe come up to as high as you can onto your big toes there's seven nice and slow for eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen bring your heels up as high as you can sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty great work from here standing up nice and tall I'll start with our right leg standing, our left leg is in front of us into our Peterson step ups. Important to know here, the further your foot is away from your right foot, the more difficult it will be as you will have more bend in the standing leg. If that's a little bit too much, bring, that stand, uh, bring the left leg just a little bit in front. The closer that left foot is, the less the bend is in your right knee. The further away, the more the bend. So pick your range 
We're doing 15 on each leg. Pick how far you want to go, keeping that back up straight, aiming to get that right knee bending past your toe line. Keeping those hips square, 15 of these. There's four for me, for five. Same thing, come down slowly with control and up with control. Here's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. What we do to one side, we do to the other side. So from the left side now, right foot in front, picking your distance. Like I said, the further your foot is away from your standing leg, the more difficult this will be or the more bend required in your standing knee. I believe I've done six. You want to keep those hips square. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and there is 15. That is the knee sequence or the knee warm up I like to do before any lifting, strength work, or running even uh, before or after a bike ride. And I encourage, you to, to, sorry, I encourage you to do another one or two rounds of this. Let me know how you go and any questions at all, please leave it in the comments section. Thank you, see you guys later.